hey guys welcome to my channel i'm so excited today to bring you this brow tutorial so i decided to come on camera and give you the tips and little tricks that i learned along the way and i would like to share those with you so that you guys can learn like me um i didn't pay somebody to teach me how to do my brows okay it is consistent practice so guys if you do your brows and you feel that it doesn't look okay that's okay you can keep trying because one day you will be like me i was there before i was where you were um if i can even put a picture on the screen here i will do that so that you guys can see how my brows used to look as compared to how it looks today and so without further ado let's jump into the brow tutorial i will list down every product that i use down below so that you guys can purchase it if you have interest in buying it okay i love you guys and i'll talk to you in my next video bye hey welcome to my channel this is speeches october bringing you a brow tutorial today and i'm just gonna give you just a few tips on how i do my brows so let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial i will start with giving you some products that i use to do my brow because of my brows being oily sometimes i usually like to go in with a powder like a translucent powder um or any loose setting powder you can find some from the uh, you can find some good drugstore brand um i would say i'll mention i'm gonna mention or make recommendation of some drugstore brand if uh, you don't want to go with high-end brand like the fenty uh powder that i'm gonna use today um you can either go with uh one from cover girl or laura mercier or the um anyway yeah cover girl or maybelline they do have setting powder loose setting powders that you can get from the drugstore so i'm gonna go with this fenty hazelnut powder um it is a translucent setting powder but it's in the shade hazelnut it is fenty pro filter instant retouch setting powder in the shade hazelnut and this is how the packaging is so this is my first item that i'm going to use i'm also going to come with um i'm going to also going to use a bra pencil and this one is particularly from sigma cosmetics i also have one from Remo that I use so just any one of your kind just any one that you are able to pick up from the drugstore or from any high-end brand just whatever you can use I'll take another item that I'm gonna use which is the uh, brow brush this one has a brush it has a comb and angle brush at the end you can use this you can go with a brush that has a spoolie okay so this is the Milo uh, cosmetic brow defounder this is a uh, this is something that will look like this so you can either use that to scope your brows but this is what it called the spoolie and the spoolie is used to brush the brows in the direction that your brows go i have a brow gel from my cosmetics clear gel brow gel and i also love this product it is the maybelline brow precise fiber volumizer so i don't know i was messing around first now i have my autofocus on i didn't have it on at first so you see how it just focus on the product let me go back again and it has a little color and this is how the um tip of it looks i love to set my brow with this this is a very inexpensive product so you can get this on any local drugstore walmart target any one of the two so that's that and i also do use a brow pomade and i either go with the anastasia brow pomade or i use the um have on the brow pomade recently for the simplicity of this video i'm going to just use a brow pencil and so let's get into uh, how i scope my brows okay so first thing first i'm going to take this powder like i said earlier now i'm going to just take a sponge and put just a little bit on my brow now this step is if you have the time you can do all of this step but if you don't have the time you can skip setting your brow with the powder so then i'll go in with a brush and brush my brows in one direction when i was talking about the powder the one that i wanted to recommend was the air spun powder you can find it like anywhere in walmart um or i've seen it at walmart i've seen it at walgreens it's called the air spun powder i'll put a picture up here and remember that all of the products that i'm mentioning here in this video will be listed down below um and i'll hopefully find some links as well so that you can purchase them if you would like to purchase them online or find a place that you can purchase them while we're doing this tutorial just please and i haven't done my nails yet i'm getting it done this weekend so please pardon my outgrown nails okay 
After all, that's not what we're here for. We're here to learn how to do brows, right? So let's get into that. You wanna make sure to, when you start your brow, make sure to, easiest way to find where you need to end the tip of your bra is to put a put your um, spoodie or whatever right here. And just for demonstration purpose, I'm gonna mark this area, okay? So I'm gonna do this right here. This is where my brow is gonna start. Gonna do the same thing right there. And this is just a demonstration purpose again. So this is what I got. And then here, I wanna make sure that my brow don't cross here. We, we are not looking for a uni brow. So I wanna make sure that um, our brows don't cross here. So I'm gonna put that little mark there. And also, I'm gonna put a mark right before here. Okay, so that's where my brows are going to start. And in order to arch my brow, I'm going to do this because this point, at this point is where my brow should be arched. So I'm gonna do that again. And that's where I'm gonna arch my brow. So you see we have three points. Uh, let me do this one more time because it doesn't look so clear. Which we're gonna arch our brows. So we have three points, one, two, and three. So now what we're gonna do is to actually line our brows. The easiest thing you can do is to go with the shape of your brow. Until you become a pro, you want to always go with the shape of your brow. Even if you become a pro, you want to go with the shape of your brow. But sometimes people like to make their brows look more dramatic and they might, you know, end up shaping it in another way. But it's just preference. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my magnifier and I'm going to go directly under my brows. So I did, so I asked my bra earlier and I was showing you that, but where you wanna do, what you wanna do is to actually put your pencil right here. In the in, in previous clips, I did mention how to ash your bra. Um, that's one way you can do it. And then while I was doing my bra, remember that there's another way you can do that. Just in case you have a shorter pencil or whatsoever, you can press the um, bottom of that pencil right here and lay it Yeah. So if you see, we still have the bra ash at the same angle when I put it, um, when I put it here. So it's, it's another way you can ash your brows. You do that both ways, okay? This way or this way. So in order for me to concentrate, I will just go ahead and do the brows. I will come and do a voiceover explaining how I got it done. I think that's the easiest way. Um, I want to make sure that I'm focusing on what I'm doing in order to be able to explain it to you. Hang on there, let me complete the brow, then I'll come back and give you all of the explanation step by step how I do the brow. All I did was just to create a canvas of what I want to fill in. And so this basically shows me the canvas that I have. I want to say something, your brows are not twin, they are sisters. Meaning that they don't have to be identical, uh, but you can try to perfect them to look the same. But if it doesn't look identical, don't beat yourself. So right now I have, I have, it, I have the canvas on for my brow and I want to try to brush this way, brush this way. Brushing this way to see where I'm missing some hair. For me, I have a lot of hair strengths, so I don't have a lot of work to do. But I'm showing you that because if you are watching this video and you don't have enough brows, you wanna brush your brows left on each side, brush it left, 
basically brushing it towards the center and it will create the spaces that you need to fill in and once you fill in those um once you fill in those spaces your brow hair will all be filled and you will have brows i hope this is as simple as it sounds so let's continue if you also did notice i did not put products up here i did not add any products here for now Okay, additionally, if you are filling in your brows, don't press your finger down, go lightly so that your brows will come out looking natural. So to those of you who don't have brows, I'm gonna demonstrate a step particularly so that you can follow. After filling in my brows, you notice that I just filled this side of my brows, I did not fill in the front. But those of you who don't have brows, when you are filling in your brows, by this time, you only using like the remaining products on your brush that you use to make some hair strokes in the front and this is how you will do it make sure you make the hair strokes in the direction of your brows okay You're creating an illusion as though there are some hair strengths in this area and so that's why you are doing that now for me if i were to do a lot of that in front of my brows will be very thick it's already thick so if i continue to put more it's gonna be more so you have to go slowly um and create those hair leg uh strengths so this is how it looks so far. When you are cr creating a hair like strings, visualize how your brows are spit um, apart. And so you don't want to put in the uh, hair like strings close together. You want to separately like singles, just like a hair string. That's basically how you will want to do that. So now it's time to clean your brows. I'm using the Tarte Ship Tip Concealers and i'm using medium sand tan and i'm using 10 deep honey so these are the two shades that i'm using i'm gonna use the lighter one on the bottom and the darker one on the top you will need a flat brush like this or a brush tip like this or a brush tip like this i'm gonna go with the flat brush and when you actually your brows you want to go in short strokes And another trick is to go in with a little bit of a darker concealer in front of your brow. So now you see how I have connected these. I'm going to buff out this concealer using my concealer brush from Kevin D. It is her brush number 40. I'm buffing in my product by pressing on it and dragging it down. And I'm making sure that I'm following the uh, uh, on eye concealer because if, if you don't or if you are not careful, you're going to mess up everything. So you want to take your own time buffing out the concealer uh, slowly. So now that I've, you can definitely see the highlight that I created with the light uh, shade so I'm going to do the other side and leave this one to dry So this is how I clean the top of my brow with a darker shade of concealer almost close to my skin tone. And so you just go over the brow like that. And once you start cleaning the brows um, after they are lined up and you follow the same steps on the top and bottom, you're going to see as you conceal your brows, they are all just going to connect. Um, like when I did the bottom here and came back on the top, it just connected. So that's basically how you um, do your brows. I'm going to clean around the brow with the same 
Kevon D brush and I will come back to show you the final brows. Usually I don't clean all around here because I move on to the next step where I'm applying eyeshadows and all of that. So just give me one second here. Let me complete this step. So one very last step. That's if you want to take your brow to another level is to go back and take the powder that you use and put a little bit on your spoolie and make sure there's basically not much on the spoolie and go in the front of your brow. Now this is just gonna lighten up the brow if you do that in the front. So you see that? That's just another trick. My brows don't look as harsh in the front as it looked. Now I'm gonna go in with my brow gel. This just allows your brows to stay put for longer hours so guys that's the final um tutorial for today this is how the brows came up and yes so if you like how everything turned out please comment like and subscribe and i'll talk to you in my next video bye loves